Hey guys, welcome to another geometry lesson. Uh, in the last few lessons, you've learned that the sum of angles in the triangle adds up to 180 degrees. And you've learned that the sum of angles in a quadrilateral in a four-sided shape add up to 360 degrees. So if you're not okay with these two concepts, uh, have another look at our previous lessons on geometry before we continue with um, this lesson. So uh, this lesson we're going to talk about the sum of angles in any sort of polygon. So the first thing we want to look at is the sum of angles in a pentagon, which is a five-sided shape, five-sided polygon. Alright, so let's make that shape in GeoGebra. And so I'm going to go to the Polygon tool and I'm going to drag five, uh, press five dots and then press the original dot so I have a five sided polygon. And I'm going to use the angle tool to um, show the angles between these points. And uh, so basically, what you're going to see is that, oops, hang on a second, no, uh, so what you're going to see is that each of the angles inside a five-sided shape if you add all of these numbers together doesn't matter how you rearrange the five dots the five vertices right the five numbers here they'll always add up to uh, 540 degrees so you can try adding these numbers in the calculator 123.07 plus 84.3 plus 104 plus 97 plus 130 and so on you'll get 540 degrees so um, let's put that fact in our um, lesson so 540 degree total for a pentagon and you'll see that each time we increase the number of sides by one we add 180 degrees to our angle sum so plus 180 180 plus 180 is 360 360 plus 180 is 540 so why is that because if we have a look at our five-sided shape um, we can split it up by joining some vertices together we get three separate triangles right we have triangle number one triangle number two and triangle number three so what that's saying is that a pentagon has three triangles so According to this analogy, what we can say is um, the sum of angles in a, in a n-sided polygon equals the number of triangles inside the polygon times 180 degrees right because each triangle inside the polygon has an angle sum of 180 so for example in our um, pentagon we have three 
triangles and each triangle has an angle sum of 180 so 180 plus 180 plus 180 is 540 or we can just simply say 180 times 3 is 540 and what we can um, generalize here is that the number of triangles inside the polygon is equal to n minus 2. Right? Why is the number of triangles inside the polygon n minus 2? Well, if you think about it, a quadrilateral is a four-sided shape. Four-sided shape minus 2 is 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. So there are two triangles inside a quadrilateral. In a pentagon, it's five-sided. 5 minus 2 is 3. So in a pentagon, there are three triangles. So let's try sum of angles in a six-sided polygon equals now the six-sided polygon the six is the variable n right because n represents how many sides so according to the formula um, n is six six minus two is four and let's just check with our um, with our GeoGebra tool that in a six-sided shape there are four triangles. So let's delete this and create a um, six-sided shape. So in this six-sided shape we can separate the shape into one um, oops. Just let me uh, recreate the shape. So in this six-sided shape, we can separate it into one, two, three, four. We can separate it into four um, triangles. All right, one, two, three, four. So sum of angles in a six-sided polygon is six minus two, which is four triangles, times by 180 degrees, which is equal to uh, four times 180, which is, oops, let me type that in the calculator. 4 times 180, which is 720 degrees. Alright, so using this um, formula, m minus 2 in brackets times 180, you can find out the sum of angles in any um, polygon. So if the question says, what is the sum of angles in a 12-sided polygon? Then all you got to do is it equals uh, n minus 2 times 180, which is uh, 12 minus 2 times 180 which is uh, 10 times 180 which is 1800 degrees 1800 degrees and if you really draw a 12 sided shape you will f in GeoGebra you'll find that um, the sum of all the angles is a uh, hundred and sorry a thousand eight hundred degrees Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time